Welcome back, folks. I'm Kenjamin, and today we're talking about costumes. New player costumes were added to Monster Sanctuary on August 19th, 2021. There are 12 costumes in total, so 6 costumes for the male and 6 for the female. Players can change their costumes by talking to this NPC in the Keeper Sanctuary. If you've already beaten Monster Sanctuary and accomplished Master Rank, you'll have the Master Rank costume unlocked right away. There is another one that you can unlock right away as well, but we'll save that one for later. Of course, you're here to find out where all the costumes are located, so let's get started. The first two sets of costumes are located in the Magma Chamber. If you open your map, you will see an area of the magma chamber that is unexplored. That's where we want to go. I will note though, you will need either Gryphonyx or a monster with improved flying to get the costumes. There are two versions to the costume set. One with a helmet and one without a helmet. Personally, I prefer the costume with a helmet on, but to each their own. Here's a little showcase of what each costume looks like with their different color palettes. For the next costume set, we want to return to Snowy Peaks and make our way to the clothes maker, the same one who made you your warm underwear. If you come and talk to her, she will say that she can make you a proper winter outfit if you provide her with 3 raw hide, 3 wool, and 3 cotton. If you're in the end game, you should have all of these items no problem, but if you do need these materials, you can find raw hide from beating up Megators and Targoats, you can get wool from Caraglo and Mogwai, and cotton can be found from Yaoi. For the costume set in the Mystic Workshop, you'll need a monster who can activate ice orbs and a monster who can activate lightning orbs. I was rushing because I thought there was a timer to activate the orbs, but there is not a timer. Take your time and don't stress yourself out. I'm surprised this costume doesn't have an alternate version like the Dragon Lord costume, but it's not a big deal. This last costume set is one you could have unlocked at the same time as the Keeper Master costume. Essentially, all you have to do is tame every single monster in Monster Sanctuary. Which didn't sound all that bad until I realized I couldn't evolve some monsters to their final forms without getting 5 star ratings on champions since some champions dropped their evolution items. It is possible though, I did it, so can you. That's all the costumes for the 1.2 update, folks. Let me know what your favorite costumes are, which ones you're working on, or which costumes you struggled getting. My personal favorite is the male Dragon Lord costume with the bronze colored armor and the green accents. It's got a great protagonist feel to it. That's going to be it for this video, folks. Thank you so much for watching and tune in for the next video.